One of the biggest changes that longtime Mac users will notice about OS X Yosemite is the new system-wide font. Now, for the last 15 years, Apple has used Lucida Grande as the system-wide font of choice, and it worked fairly well. Uh, in fact, a lot of websites adopted Lucida Grande because it, you know, it's nice and legible, um, and it, it works well on displays. Uh, but with the recent adoption and the recent upgrades uh, and bumps in resolution of the monitors, the display devices that we use, Apple felt the need to look in another direction. And what they've done is they've actually adopted the iOS system font of choice, Helvetica Neue, which is German for new, um, and they have made that the default system font in OS X Yosemite. So for the first time in, well, since 1999, I believe, um, yeah, there is a different system font in OS X. No longer do you have Lucida Grande. Get used to using Helvetica Neue, or Helvetica New, if you want to pronounce it new. Either way it works. So this is a pretty big change, especially if you're a longtime OS X user. If you're if you're new to the Mac and you're new to OS X, Yosemite is the first version of OS X you've used, you're not going to notice any difference. In fact, it's going to look great for you, especially if you're looking at this on a high-resolution Retina display, such as the uh, MacBook Pro with the Retina display. Uh, but Longtime users may find it a little jarring at first, but after a while I felt that I got used to it and actually it's a change for the better. It looks great on high resolution displays and since the industry is shifting in that direction, it only makes sense for Apple to make a change and uh, provide us with the best looking system font that they possibly could. So that is the new system font in OS X Yosemite Helvetica Neue.